The people in the interior in Kamloops are breathing a sigh of relief tonight, and they may have the wind and a quick response from firefighters to thank for that. A shift in wind direction has helped the crews get the upper hand on a fast-growing wildfire that threatened their homes and forced a hasty evacuation in the middle of the night. A news reporter Andrew Johnson has been monitoring the latest from Kamloops. He joins us now with more. Andrew. Hudson firefighters in Kamloops first got the call at about 10.30 last night, a report of a grass fire that soon turned into much more. The fire quickly grew, fanned by high winds. Just a few hours later, 150 people living in a Kamloops RV and mobile home park were forced from their beds into the homes of friends, or they spent the night in an evacuation center. Air tankers then arrived to drop fire retardant at first light, joined in the air by four helicopters. Meantime, 43 firefighters from the BC Forest Service and from Kamloops went to work on the ground. Fire officials say the fire grew from the size of a football field to half a square kilometer in the span of only five hours. And that's uh, some of the fire behavior we get in, in this type of country. When you get the uh, open uh, grassland sagebrush, uh, it's been baking in the heat now for a, a couple of weeks and 30 degree uh, plus days. And it's with our wet spring, all that uh, nice green grass that we had in the spring is now drying out. The big turning point in the firefighting effort came later this morning. A shift in wind direction, it began gusting from the southwest, blowing the fire back in on itself. The evacuees, unsure of what would become of their homes and possessions only hours earlier, were allowed to return. But Hudson, the evacuees and other people living in hundreds of homes nearby remain on evacuation alert. The latest word from the BC Forest Service is the fire burning just east of Kamloops is now 80% contained. Close call. Mm-hmm. Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.